welcome to the microprocessor tutorial in this tutorial i will be explaining about how to interface AT, adc and dac converters to 8051 adc stands for analog to digital converter and dac stands for digital to analog converter let us see the basics of adc and dac then we'll go for interfacing so analog to digital converter most of the environmental parameters such as temperature sound pressure light etc are measurable in analog form only so whatever quantities that are available naturally they are in the form of analog but whereas if you want to process those uh, parameters or the signals then we have the tools which are in the form of digital like microprocessor or microcontroller so there should be a agent which will convert there should be a tool which will convert analog signal to a digital signal like here we have ADC as a module which is used to convert analog form into a digital form generally ADC takes an input voltage from 0 to 10 volt or minus 5 volt to plus 5 volt so this is a typical block diagram of analog to digital converter which takes analog signal here and it takes positive uh, power supply and one side is grounded then depending upon the ic capability it may convert this analog signal to either 8 bit digital form or 16 bit digital form or so on so here I will be considering 8-bit ADC which will convert an analog signal into 8-bit digital form. So this bit, this particular block is available as a separate IC integrated circuit that generally can be interfaced with 8051 or any other microcontroller like. Here this is an IC ADC 0808. This IC uh, it looks like this and it is its pin configurations are this ic is basically a 28 pin so pin number one two and the other pins are having its own uh, functionality so let us look at the features of adc 0808 the adc 0808 or 0809 is basically an 8-bit analog to digital converter hence it has eight data lines d0 to d7 like here eight data lines d0 to d7 and it has eight channels which are in0 to in7 here in0 to in7 so it is possible to connect eight analog sources to this ic and that data can be taken on this d0 to d7 and it can be read into a microprocessor or a microcontroller with the proper interfacing and a code so then it has a three address lines a b a c these are channel selections though this we call to be address lines which are used to select one of these input analog signals then ALE are used to select, uh, then address latch, ALE stands for address latch enable. Once the selection is made, that has to be stable and that has to hold for a certain time. Then the other thing is SOC, start of conversion. When high to low signal appears on this pin, that is uh, SOC, when it appears here, when high to low signal is given to this pin, then ADC starts conversion whatever is connected to this pin the channels when you give high to low here then it start taking analog data and it converts into digital form then you say end of conversion eoc adc sends this high signal to 8051 or any connected microcontroller when the adc uh, say complete completed its conversion it sends a height signal to the connected in uh, microcontroller or a microprocessor here it may be 8051 so uh, upon receiving high from this pin which is connected to 8051 and adc indicates it is completion of a conversion then oe it is output enable it is oe is output enable when a high signal is applied to this pin the output latch of adc gets enabled and the converted data is then available to 
8051 so here when when the high signal is given to this it is from a uh, microcontroller microprocessor towards this ic when high is given to this then the output latch there will be the converted data is available in a latch somewhere here then when this is enabled then the data which is available on these latches can be read and is will be available to the microcontroller connected to this then the reference voltage which is connected here will determine the analog input uh, range of analog input voltage or analog input signal so this is how the ic works so in con to conclude about the features of ic8 adc0808 it has it is 8 bit analog to digital converter that has d0 to d7 as a digital output and it can take a maximum of 8 channels in0 to in7 and these channels will be selected by these address lines a b and c depending upon the bit configurations and on a b c particular channel will be selected say for example if it is a a0 b0 c0 then in0 will be selected for a conversion then we have to connect an analog signal to in0 and it should say a0 b0 and c0 then this channel will be connected for conversion and that data will be corresponding data will be available on this digital pin and coming to a free running circuit it is possible even without interfacing to a microcontroller we can see the digital data on a display like we can connect eight leds to these data pins and we can connect one in0 one one analog input then we can start conversion this is what is a very basic circuit for uh, adc0808 so depending upon the input signal here what way it has converted into set of ones and zeros will be available on these pins and these pins are connected with leds so these leds will be blinking some led will be on some led will be off depending upon the digital data so this is your we call it to be a free running circuit of adc now uh, let us connect this adc to 8051 microcontroller then the digital pins of uh, adc can be connected to a port p1 port of 8051 say p1.0 to p1.7 so eight pins of port 1 are connected to the digital pins of a adc0808 then end of conversion let it is connected to the seventh pin of port 2 p2.7 then p2.5 is connected to the start of conversion then p2.4 is connected to output enable and you look at the direction of the signal so end of conversion will be given from adc to a microcontroller then start of conversion and output enable will be from a microcontroller to the adc module then again we have address latch enable which will be sent uh, this is a signal sent from microcontroller to the adc then these are the channel selection so p2.0 is connected to a p2.1 is connected to b p2.2 is connected to c so we can select uh, one of the eight channels based on this particular configuration so this side we have Uh, uh input uh, signals where we can connect analog signal let like here in this configuration i have connected that analog signal to in7 that is eighth input uh, signal or uh, say right so i will write the code for this and show you how this can be used for converting analog signal which is connected to in7 inside or uh, to a microcontroller 8051 that this is the code so here let's say org00 is a starting address then since i am connect since i have connected this digital pins of adc to the port 1 then make uh, make makes a port 1 as input port just give ff to this pin anyway by default 8051 also carries the high logic so anyway to safer side you can give here uh, 0 ff h makes a uh, port 1 as input port then set bit p2.7 what is p2.7 it is end of conversion so it is it is made as high in inside a microcontroller then clear clear uh, 
P2.5. What is P2.5? P2.5 is start of conversion. Then clear P2.4. What is P2.4? P2.4 is address latch enable and even output enable is also cleared. Then here this particular set of code will select the channel. So setting set bit P2.2, P2.1, P2.0. So all these are carrying logic high. You say 0, 0, 0 will select 0, 0, 0 will select IN0. Then 1, 1, 1 will select IN7. So this sets 1, 1, 1 configuration and hence uh, IN, IN7 will be selected. That means we have to connect an analog signal to this particular IC. Then just call a delay. Just call a delay. Then set bit 2.4. What is 2.4? It is address latch enable. Set address latch enable as high pin. When it is set uh, as address latch enable as a high pin, then these addresses are locked now. When these are locked, just call a delay. Abs absolute call delay. Then yes, set bit 2.5. What is that 2.5? 2.5 is start of conversion. So once uh, the input channel is selected and that address is latched, then we can start a conversion. and say sends a command to start conversion. Okay. Then we call a delay, absolute uh, call delay. This, this is a delay routine. Then can clear 2.4 makes early low. Then clear 2.5 makes start pin low. So once you give a start conversion, uh, then it it this this I, this ADC will convert this analog uh, signal to a digital signal. Then here what to do? Jump bit. If 2.6 is set, wait for low pulse at EOC. Here just wait till you get AC end of conversion to be low. When you get low here, till you get low here, you have to wait here. Then jump on not jump not below that is 2.6 here okay wait for low pulse to finish once you get this then set bit 2.4 enable enables oe pin output enable to extract data from adc so by all these what what is done here after selecting channel then latching then we give proper uh, handshaking signals then once it is once a start of conversion signal is given whatever is connected here that will be available to these pins and that that adc 0808 will convert into equivalent digital data okay then you have to shoot you you should say enable OE pin. Once it is enabled, then we will be able to read into a microcontroller. Then simply call a delay. Then move A comma P1. So what is P1 here? P1 is connected to the data lines of ADC. Once the conversion is over, then these lines will be carrying the equivalent data of analog signal, and that is that will that is connected to P1 to P102 to P1. 7 so the data is read into accumulator so according to your requirement from this accumulator you can either you send it to your lcd or save into a matrix or whatever you want so depending upon the application we can we can make use of this data which is available in, in accumulator then again clear output enable then again short jump repeatedly gets a data from adc again you can go to back here so this continues so depending upon the selection here the data will be converted to conclude here is this adc 0808 is interfaced with 8051 microcontroller and these are different handshaking signals then this microcontroller will tell when to uh, uh, when to start conversion or uh, and to from which input channel it should start converting so that that connection complete thing will be decided by this particular code and this code here says that okay you have to select a data or input signal which is connected to input channel IN7 so it, it starts converting get the data and that data will be available in in accumulator so some some other application may read the data from this particular accumulator so this is how we will be able to convert analog signal or analog data to a digital form by using adc 0808 and that can be interfaced to 8051 now we'll turn to uh, digital to analog converter 
and digital to analog converter this is this is again we have an ic here dac0808 this is of again 16 pin ic this is a 16 pin ic we have different functions for this uh, each pin right let's look at this so dac0808 is a digital to analog converter and is used to convert 8 bit digital data input to an analog signal output so here this is a conversion from digital to analog signal okay so digital data from the microcontroller or a microprocessor can be given to this ic and this ic reads the data from the interface microcontroller or a microprocessor converts into equivalent analog data when it is converting gen basically here this is the signal is available in the form of current since everything is dealt with the currents at a uh, particular pin so here we need uh, current to voltage converter to convert this current into equivalent voltage so current to voltage converter is also required in addition to this ic which converts digital data to analog data so according to the theory of digital to analog converter equivalent analog output is given as here v not v reference into d0 by 2 plus d1 by 4 plus d2 uh, by uh, 8 plus d3 by 16 and so on d7 divided by 256 say for example if we are having a data 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then equivalent uh, analog output will be this 0 into 0 it will be 0 so for example if at all we have here 1 0 0 0 0 0 or, or, or the reverse way it is uh, uh, 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 then if it is 1 then there will be 1 by 2 and if reference voltage is say 5 volt then 5 volt by 2 it will be 2.5 volt so output voltage analog voltage will be 2.5 volt okay then so here these these are the pin functionalities then pin num pin 1 1 is uh, 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 not connected and then I say pin number 2 is ground then negative power supply then pin number 4 output signal output signal pin <coughs> then you have 5 to 12 this a12 a12 digital input bit one is msb 28 lsb so then we have vcc we have positive reference voltage and negative reference voltage and compensation capacitor can be connected to this let us see how we can connect uh, this dac0808 with 8051 since it is having uh, uh, digital pins D0 to D7 you can see here these are pin number 5 to 12 are 8 input digital input pins so it takes digital input pin and start conversion so this this circuit IC741 is actually an operational amplifier op amp which takes then current and convert to voltage okay this and it, it and it takes a digital data from uh, this particular pins from 8051 so this is very simple circuit with the DAC uh, 0808 coming to the code here here then ORG 00 first clear the accumulator then copy the content of accumulator to P1 port where P1 port is connected to the D0 to D7 pins of AD, DAC 0808 then now uh, in the first case it is carrying what what it is carrying it is carrying zero then increment accumulator then call a delay certain delay between your successful con successful conversions or successful transmission let the delay here you can give depending upon the requirement you can give here up to 255 so 0, 0, 0, 1 to 255 0, 1 to 255 can be given so depending upon this delay loop we will have a different conversion so or we can even decide about the frequency as well so increment accumulator then call delay then simply short jump to loop again so earlier it was carrying 0 now it is carrying 1 then again increment again call delay then again go to this so sequentially it will be sending 0 1 2 3 that means 0 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 then 0 0 0 0 1 0 and so on up to 1 1 1 1 1 all 8 pins okay all all 8 bits 
then it takes those uh, that that data which is sent from 8051 and convert that into a digital uh, say analog form and that analog form this we will be having analog variations or continuous variations in a form of current so that is given to this particular ic operational amplifier and this converts this varying current into a varying voltage that we call it to be a uh, current to voltage converter so this is how we will be converting a digital data from a microcontroller uh, to an analog uh, signal by this dac converter and you can be that can be given to any analog output devices maybe your crt or maybe any any other device so to control so this is how we can interface uh, analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter with 8051 now we will see uh, embedded c in the lecture 10 so thank you thanks for listening